Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Bachman's Vlog. Thanks for tuning in. So <clears throat> last night I had the, uh, the pleasure with uh, two other local investors um, to speak at a local um, re-up group. Uh, this one's in South Jersey. Um, specifically, it was located in the Cherry Hill, New Jersey area. Um, and there was about 150 plus people there, which, which really kind of shocked me because it was a Monday night. Um, and it was a it was a packed house, um, and the main topic was basically wholesaling and where it's going in 2018. But most of the topics were were really marketing related. Um, the the presenter did a great job. He didn't get a chance to ask all the questions, um, and so I figured I would take this time maybe to do a quick little video, um, let you know what some of the questions were and maybe give a little bit more uh, detailed answer um, than I did last night if you didn't get a chance to make it. So hopefully you uh, get some value out of this. Um, and once again, mainly uh, the talk was for wholesaling. Um, so if you're looking to start wholesaling or if you're looking to increase your current wholesaling business. Um, so here we go, let's go right off the bat. Um, first question um, that they asked was marketing. Um, what methods are you currently uh, doing and what are you successful with and what um, have you tried that is not successful so <clears throat> so for me I pretty much focus well let's just backtrack from a marketing standpoint um, I pretty much believe in doing everything when it comes to marketing so all different avenues just like any other brand or company so what does that include that includes you know mail campaigns maybe print ads uh, maybe flyers, Craigslist, social media, online presence, SEO, pay-per-click. You know, for me personally, I have a total of four websites. I have about 12 to 13 different social media accounts between my company and my personal. Um, I have three different blogs. I obviously have the video blog. So there's a lot of different ways that I am spreading my tentacles and generating leads. So for me, I, I prefer to have people reach out to me versus me reaching out to them. Um, it's just it's just preference. There's no right or wrong for sure. Um, so those are the things that I'm currently doing. That's what I'm pretty much uh, where my strategy. Is. I'm pretty much all in for for having an online presence. Um, one of the things that I've tried in the past that really wasn't successful um, was something called a bow pack. I don't know if you're familiar with those things that you used to get in the mail or still do, where it's an envelope just filled with you know various different coupons for local different companies. So I tried that for a little bit just because the the reach was so big, uh, but I can't tell you if I got any leads from it or not. So. Um, so there's a little bit about what I'm currently doing and, and some of the things that I've tried that don't necessarily work. And, and, and what you can get from this is try it. If it doesn't work, reevaluate it. If it is working, stick with it and start to make it grow over time. So that's my best advice for that one. So next question was, who to send letters slash postcards to? What lists? So this is a, another topic, right? <clears throat> what I tell people is, is that there's multiple different lists for every specific uh, county that you're looking to do business in. So what kind of lists are there? There's absentee owners, there's vacant houses, there's land, there's back taxes, there's REOs. So my advice to you is, you know, pick one or two of those and try to become the expert at those lists. You know, the, most of the people that I know who are doing really, really successful, that's what they're doing. They're really zoned in on one specific or two specific categories, whether it's probates or vacant houses. They just, they just own the market with those specific uh, types of leads. So my suggestion to you is, is look at the different types of leads that are available. Pick one or two strategies that are going to be, that are be best for you um, and, and stick to those. The other thing that I'll tell you is if you don't plan on mailing for at least a minimum of three to six months, uh, don't do it at all. So that's my best advice when it comes to uh, mailing and lists. Um, next question. Um, what is the number one thing a new investor looking to get into wholesaling should know or be good at? So I'll say the, <clears throat> I'll say the same thing that I said last night to everybody was the, the best thing that you can do if you're thinking about wholesaling is remember that wholesaling has nothing to do with real estate and everything to do with sales, marketing, negotiation, people skills, everything that, that, that it comes with 
building a business or a brand. And I think if you realize that right away off the bat, um, you'll have a much more um, success down the line. Um, because it has nothing really to do with real estate. It has everything to do with the numbers, but not really real estate because wholesaling can be done in all kinds of different industries from uh, automobiles to medical equipment to all kinds of things. So it has nothing to do with what the industry is and has everything to do with your sales and marketing skills. So if you're thinking about doing this, I would suggest to you take a hard look at it in the mirror and see if those if you have those skill sets if not i would start focusing on learning how to do sales and marketing and and networking and things of that nature so that you can be better at wholesaling once you decide to do that um, <clears throat> next question um, what makes you successful what traits or tasks create deal flow and uh, success locking up deals Besides all the, the usual things like integrity and trustworthiness and reliability, those things should be a given, right? But for me, what brings in uh, deals <clears throat> is, for me, I've actually been able to leverage my buyer's list. Because my buyer's list is so, so big, um, I have lots of local investors and agents bringing me deals because they know that I could sell it faster and for a higher price than if they were to list it on the MLS. So for me, what makes me successful is I provide a lot of value, right? I'm the person who's providing properties. I'm the person who's providing a strong buyer's list to be able to sell properties. I'm networking with other people and putting people together. So, you know, the number one thing that I think that makes me successful is that I understand where the value is and how to provide it to people. And then obviously it comes back to me tenfold. Um, and then the last question was, what is the biggest thing that brings investors coming back to you for more deals? Well, I kind of just covered that, right? It's the value and all that other stuff. But more importantly, why do investors keep coming back? Well, it's consistent deal flow. What I say to somebody is we may not do a deal in a week, in a day, in a month, but eventually we'll probably will get a deal done. Um, I'm closing a deal right now with somebody who I've met a year ago um, they've never made any offers on any of my properties but soon as they saw one that interest them you know not only did they make me an offer but they made me an offer at full asking even over asking um, and we were able to lock that deal up in 24 hours so constant 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 deal flow because you never know who's gonna buy something now tomorrow next week next month next year so that was pretty much uh, my take on some of those questions from marketing. And then the last question that um, somebody kind of asked out of the audience is where do I think wholesaling is going in the future? You know, my, my, I mean, take a look at what is going on right now with wholesaling. You know, you, you have people doing podcasts, people doing eBooks, uh, there's groups all over Facebook and bigger pockets, forums and articles. So it's more out there in the open. I think it's only gonna, only gonna grow I think the real estate market's going to change. I think that the need for real estate agents is going to decrease in the future. There's, there's probably going to be some other, um, there's already other solutions to them. Um, and so I just think for wholesaling, it's always going to grow because there's always going to be a need for somebody who needs to unload a property quickly. And there's always going to be somebody there who's looking to pick that property up. So <clears throat> hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you weren't able to make it. If you were there last night, hopefully um, this is kind of a little bit of a fresher up. Uh, but hope you enjoyed this. And remember, if you're not evolving, you're dying.